Now, let's move on to the question number 62. Uh, so this question is related to thermodynamics, specifically from the thermochemistry sections. So you might be knowing about thermochemical equations, which can be treated like algebraic equation. They can be added, subtracted, divided. So these are the characteristics of thermochemical equations, which we are going to use for solving this question. So you have been given a thermosum, thermochemical equations, and their heat of the reaction, standard heat of the reaction, that is at 298 Kelvin. So the first is carbon in the graphite form, allotropic form, reacts with oxygen forming CO2. The second is also given H2 reacts with half O2 to give H2O in the liquid form. Then you have carbon dioxide reacting with water to produce methane releasing oxygen. Now using these three equation, we are supposed to calculate the delta H like heat of the standard heat of formation for this reaction carbon graphite in the graphite form plus 2 H2 giving CH4. Uh, so this is the equation, correct? So as I said, it is just an al you just have to do some algebraic uh, operations in order to derive this equation from these three. Standard heat of the formation, standard heat formation values are also given, okay? So now let's concentrate on the solution for this particular question. Okay, so the solutions are pretty much simple. So just imagine, just have a look here, carbon graphite and carbon graphite, they are same, right? And if you could see here, uh, oxy, uh, just try to see what all terms are there in the final equation. Carbon graphite, carbon graphite is there. Then you have hydrogen, two moles, two moles of hydrogen gas. Here there is only one mole of hydrogen gas. Now just have a look whether in any of the equation hydrogen gas has been used, no. So that's a straightforward indication that this equation should be multiplied by two, correct? So that means I'm going to have equation 1 and then I'm going to multiply, uh, multiply equation 2 and then if you could see here uh, CH4 uh, in the right side of the right hand side that is product side of the equation there is CH4 and there is CH4 over here. Now CH4 the coefficient is 1 that is number of moles are 1. So if you could see here there is CH4 is not appearing anywhere. That means you are supposed to take equation 1, equation 2 and then you are, you are not supposed to change the coefficients of the equation number 3, right? So for my convenience I am going to just label this as equation number 1, number 2 and number 3. Correct? So what exactly I'm going to do here? So let's see, I'm just writing equation 1 plus equation 2 multiplied by 2, that means 2 times, plus equation 3, equation 3, right? So what am I going to do is, I'm going to just add these and get a result and similar things I have to do with the thermochemical equations as well, correct? So uh, I'll, I'll be just writing, uh, so this will be corresponding to this addition of this plus 2 into this and addition of this, right? So let's try to first get the answer. So I'm just going to write C graphite. Let's, let's first write down everything together so that we can con cancel the common terms. Plus O2, correct? Then plus. Now let's first try to finish the left hand side. So I have multiplied 2 times this equation. So I'll be writing 2 into H2 plus 2 into half, that will become 1, so O2. Correct? And then let's come here. So equation 3 is not multiplied by anything, so I'm just going to write it as it is. So I'm going to write CO2 in the gas form, obviously oxygen should also be in gas form, hydrogen in gas form, this oxygen in gas form as well. So uh, I'm getting this CO2 plus 2H2O. Correct? Now uh, let's now concentrate on the product side that is the right hand side of the equation. Equation 1 is unaffected so I'm going to write CO2 as it is in the gaseous, in the gaseous form. Then what next? You have H2O multiplied by 2 so I'm going to write it as 2H2O in the liquid form and then plus I'm going to write uh, CH4 which is not multiplied or divided so I'm going to write CH4 plus 2O2, correct? So this is a very, very simple equation if you could see here. So uh, let's try to cancel the common terms, right? So you have uh, O2 and O2, correct? And here you have 2O2, right? So these terms could be cancelled, right? Similarly, uh, you have CO2 over here and CO2 over here, even these terms could be easily cancelled. Right? Similarly, you have 2H2O over here, 2H2O over here, these could also be cancelled. So final equation which you could get is C graphite plus 2H2 in the gaseous form would give me CH4 in the gaseous form, correct? So this is the required equation which we, uh, which we should get, right? So now let's try to add the standard heat of formation. So if this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, it's going to be like this H1 plus H2 
h1 plus 2h2 uh, plus H3. So it's going to be, uh, so delta H of the reaction, standard heat of the reaction would be something like negative 393.5 plus 2 times negative 285.8 plus uh, you get 890.3, correct? If you could see here, uh, when you, uh, when you just multiply this, this becomes like around 570, 580, something like that, and this is 3. So this term definitely is going to be greater than 890, right? So you have a negative greater term and a small term, which is positive, so the resultant has to be negative. So that means uh, the positive options that, that are showing positive values could be easily neglected. So that means we are left only with negative 74.8 and 144. If you could clearly make out the, uh, I mean, if you do the calculation, that makes life much more easier, but just see the difference is not that much, right? So it could be more like negative 74.8 kilojoule per mole, which is the correct answer. So the answer for this particular question is option number two. So I'm just going to write answer is option two. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. So kindly comment, like or subscribe to receive more videos and updates.